Ila, this wonderful city located in the southeast of the country and being 845 kilometers far from Algiers, is considered as one of the greatest administrative communes. It's limited in the north by both Jilfa and Al Wed, and in the south by Tamaraset and Elizi, in the east by Tunisia, and in the west by Gharda. Wurgla was founded by the Ibadites who fled from Tirith in the 10th century. It was also the land which welcomed many kingdoms, such as Banu Abi Rabul in the 13th century, the Philanians who came from Morocco in the 16th century, and the Idrisis in the 17th century. It was described by Ibn Khaldun as being the road of Sudan, as it constituted in the past the passage of gold. enjoys an important geographical position which links the north and the south, the great oriental leg to the great western one and which makes of it a strategic trade center for the Saharan trade. It has also a taxi rank, a coach station, as well as three equipped airports specialized in domestic flights in Wurgla, Tugut and Hasim Saud, in addition to international flights in the airport of Hasim Saud. Most of the surface of the wilaya of Wurgla is covered with golden sand dunes. The city is also considered as one of the greatest deposits of gypsum flowers, with their different shapes and which are used for decoration, especially in the region of Elbur, one of the villages of Angusa. Wurgla appears for the first time to the visitor as a huge forest because of its dense oases, which make it difficult to believe that there is only one palm grove, especially in the regions of Ashut and Ajaja, Ain al Baida, Reset, Sidi Khwilid, and many other ones. We 
which makes Wurgla different from the other Saharan cities are those wonderful lakes such as that of Elmir, Timesin, which is recorded among the expansion tourist areas, as well as the lakes of Megarin. Lakes are considered as very important because of their ecologic role, their flora and fauna richness, as well as for the fact that they are a refuge for a great number of immigrant birds, like pink flamingo. Workla is also known for its historical and archaeological sites such as the Palace of Wurgla, which is located in the center of the city and which has a specific architecture. It is considered as one of the oldest palaces in the country. The local museum, which was built in 1936, contains a lot of objects and tools which go back in time to prehistory. It is divided into several rooms, reception, crafts room, a room containing all the objects of the Saturn house, furniture, beddings and carpets, the room of prehistory, which contains tools and frescoes of Tassili. The room of Sedrata, which contains pictures describing the history of Furgla and its architecture. And Gusa, which is located 20 kilometers north of Furgla, is considered as an archaeological region witnessing of the Islamic period with its old palace, which is still there. The legend tells that this region is called so because of the lake between Wurgla and Engusa and which was used to send signals of the arrival of the enemy to the palace of the queen by sending a bottle which produced sounds when hitting the walls of the palace. Sedrata is an underground archaeological city which has not totally been discovered yet and which is located 10 kilometers far from Wurgla. It's an Ibadid city which disappeared in 909. It was the refuge of the Ibadids who fled from Tiaret and who made of Sedrata a particular city which hadn't been discovered since 1951 by Miss Margaret van Berchamp. The architecture of the headquarters of the Mujahideen Museum, which was built during the colonial period, attracts the attention because of its typical site. Furthermore, there are many other wonderful tourist and archaeological sites, such as the Palace of Muluk Beni Jalab in Tugurt, and which should be visited.
Kula, one can notice the several old mosques in Serbia, which were founded by saints who spent their money and devoted their lives to serve learning and religion, and which make of this region an attractive center for religious tourism, like Zawiya Tijaniya and Zawiya Al Qadiriya. The latter was founded by Sharif Muhammad Al Tayyib who was called Sharif Muhammad bin Abdullah, a leader of the popular revolutions in the region. Zawiyas were built in the rest of the country, like Zawiyat Al Buti, Sidi Ahmed bin Abbas, Sidi Sayyah, and many others. of teaching the Quran and establishing peace in the region. It includes also a boarding school for students between 16 and 25 years and coming from all the regions of the country as well as from abroad. several hotel infrastructures which offer high quality services to the visitors like Al Mahri, Tassili, Lenatel, Mouflon d'Or, Al Ansar, Al Ahram, Al Wahat and many others.
Kingsley is famous for its traditional crafts, which give a specific print to the region, especially in Wed Mia and Wed Rir, which are specialized in weaving and traditional embroidery, which makes of the region a very famous one, in addition to pottery, ceramics and leather crafts. to celebrate the local holidays, like the popular holidays of the Qsar of Urgla, the feasts of the school year, which correspond with the first day of spring, and the feast of Lele Babinu in the ninth day of Muharram. has also a specific print, especially when celebrating weddings, which are characterized by their simplicity and authenticity, in addition to the local songs and clothes. not only a tourist print, but it is also known for its economic role because it includes Hasi Masoud, the famous oil producing site. It was called so in reference to Sheikh Rwabah Masoud bin Ammar, the nomad who came from Metlili looking for pasture in 1970. When he settled there, he sank a well which has his name. Hasim Saud till nowadays. When he settled there, he sank a well which has his name. Hasim Saud till nowadays. Hasim 
Sa'ud is a modern city in the south of the headquarters of the Wilaya of Urgla and which is 80 kilometers far from it. It is described as the city of black gold because it contains 900 ore deposits which constitute the basin of Hasim Saud exploited since 1985, making of the region the window of the whole modern Algeria. This Wurgla, which is still inviting us to visit its archaeological and historical sites, as well as its magic tourist regions, to know more about one of the pearls of our magnificent south.